These are three habits that you should be doing on an everyday basis. If you're not doing these, then your spiritual growth, it will be limited. If you're not doing these things, you won't grow as an individual all around. Spiritually, we're commanded to read our word, right? So number one, read your Bible. If you don't read your Bible, how are you supposed to know what God is telling you? If you don't read your Bible, how are you gonna know how to handle situations? Are you gonna look to the world for you to handle your situations? A lot of times we get caught into how other people think and we look at and idolize other people. But that's your one mistake, idolatry. When you put so much more glory onto people and you give so many more people glory than God, God is offended by that because God wouldn't even, you wouldn't even have this situation that you're in. He wouldn't even been, get, been giving you grace. The situations that you're in at this moment, you wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for God's grace. So why are you giving human beings who didn't birth you, who didn't give you all you have, why are you giving them the glory? You look silly. You know how silly you look? Thing in the world has given you everything, that the world has blessed you with everything. That's the one mistake you're making right now. But guess what? That's the only thing. Number two, you're not praying. You're not praying for your situation. You're not praying for your guilt. You're not praying for your trials, your tribulations. You're not praying for, for the other people around you. You're not praying hard enough. You're not, you're not even praying, period. Praying doesn't even come into your mind. I'm telling you, prayer is the answer. And prayer, prayer is just as effective praying with somebody else. It's actually more powerful praying with somebody else. But praying alone with God, just you and God, that's powerful. That's powerful enough. I got to be a realist. For those of you who aren't in the Christian faith, what do you all do, right? If you're going through a situation... If you're going through a trouble, who do you go? Who do you go to? Well, you're gonna ask your parents for help, right? Are you going to ask your friends for help? Are you going to ask the world for help? Let me know how that worked out for you. Cause the world can only give so much temporary love, and the world can only give so much thing, so many things that are temporary. God has that structure. God makes that way for you to be successful and for him to fix your issues. That's only if you allow him to, right? So number two, making sure you pray. And number three, making sure you're meditating. Making sure that you have a time of being alone with God. Making time for God, period. A lot of times we get busy and we get caught up and we get we get caught up in life because that happens, right? We get busy, it gets tough, I get it. But we got to know that all this that we get to do, all this school, all this stuff we get to do on a regular day basis, all the things that you're blessed with, a car, food on your table, all the things that, you know, we, we out there, even money, God bless you with the funds. He bless you to be able to work a job. Because there's a lot of people who aren't able to work a job who aren't physically able to work a job, who mentally can't work a job. And, but guess what? God gave you that glory. So think about that. Think about that. Don't let a second go by where you're not thanking God for where you're at. Okay? But those are the three things that you need to incorporate in your life right now. Right? If you're not Christian, I advise you to open the Bible, read, start from Genesis 1 verse 1. And if you continuously read, you'll know and you'll realize something. Everything in the Bible, everything in the Bible is happening right now. Everything. Everything that's going on in the Bible is going on in the world, is going on in the news. Is going on in our neighborhoods. It's going on at school. It's going on in our relationships. 
So recognize that. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. We do this every day. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. Comment down below what you learn. And I uh, appreciate y'all. Peace.